Okay, just uh, finished up that uh, pile of jack pad adapters there. Originally, it was supposed to have taken 38 hours. It got done in 33.49. I uh, boosted it up to 120%. Uh, and it finished a little faster. Uh, I think I boosted it maybe about half of the print. Um, they look amazing. Um, on my Robos, which I love, it takes about seven hours piece to print. Uh, eight at 33.49 is right about four hours. So uh, a little uh, more than half of the time that it takes to print uh, two I should say each, um, and it done in one machine. So, yeah, I'm still figuring out uh, the raft settings. They're pretty close, but I still need to make some adjustments on this next print. Um, I think I need to go with a bigger air gap, and I think I need to go with, instead of an 85, go to 100% infill on the raft. Yes, I don't have to use a raft, but with how I produce this part, um, I need a raft to chafe the bottom to allow better adhesion uh, for the glue. So um, there's a hint to those people that are gluing things together. If you can print them without a raft, great. But if you're gonna be gluing items together, a raft uh, gives you a, a little bit of a pitting on the bottom of it to allow that adhesion to soak in uh, so it glues better. Uh, there's the roll there, um, it's about a half a roll, uh, for eight of these, a fair amount of material. Um, about a month now, I think I've had this thing, what, three weeks, something like that. Uh, love the machine. Can't say enough about it. Um, and I will say, as I've said to raised. I can't stand this camera. It's a fisheye. It's horrible. It's um, it's ugly. It um, yeah. I don't I don't I don't like the camera uh, whatsoever. Uh, they know that they're. I'm hoping going to be working on that. Uh, I'd love for them to retro get a different camera in there uh, to offer a different camera. But man, the camera is is don't like it. Um, the inability to go online and control or at least view um, your print going on has been a no-go. They are doing a beta system right now that I signed up for yesterday, hopefully real soon. I'll be part of that beta program to be able to do that. Um, love it. The uh, I thought at first that the, um, the reels being so close with the filament kind of edging up to the one on the right would be a problem. Have had no problems whatsoever. The uh, HEPA air filter is doing a great job. You can see there's already stuff on there. Um, it, it, it does get warm. This printer does get a little warm, but um, you really don't get any sense of, uh, of allergens coming out from it. I mean, yeah, there's little gaps here and there. It's not going to filter everything, but, you know, like a car door it shuts and it shuts well um love this thing uh, i've ran nothing but uh hatch box abs filament through it and haven't had a single jam had no issues uh a simple feeding uh retraction to uh change reels out uh all i've printed so far is abs i'm gonna try tpu uh, i'm going to try um uh dissolvable um filament when I start printing some things that actually need some supports uh, bought a box of that and bought the chemical for it um, look at the price tag if you can afford it buy it um, $4,000 uh, this is, of course is not the plus but four grand I was at first worried about the bed because it does not have an auto leveling system you don't need it you really don't. Um, they they give you a uh, a feeler gauge to check it once it uh, comes in, and it is this funky little optical thingamabobby between here the optical sensor and here. Um, I set it at uh, 
at two, or to say point two, if I'm gonna print something that is, uh, um, I want really clean and I, I'm gonna jump down to 0 0.05 microns. Uh, if I'm printing my normal 0.25, then I bring it back up to, uh, to three uh, on the gap. Um, it's great. I'm gonna change out uh, to a little larger nozzle on one of them uh, here shortly as soon as I get up the angst to swap them because you have to disassemble the entire head and remove the extruder to change the nozzle. It's one thing I don't like. Uh, most other 3D printers, you just warm that sucker up, grab it with a crescent wrench so that it does not move, and it's an easy little bump, and the nozzle comes loose, of course, when it's hot, and then you put it back on, tighten it down, give it a little, little bump snug, and let it cool down, and it's done. But this one, you pretty much have to disassemble uh, the extruders and pull them off, and then do all kinds of tightening of the, the extruder throat and so on and so forth. So I got a little bit of angst about that, but I'm gonna watch some videos uh, that they have online that shows it uh, how to do it. I'm gonna watch those a couple times, probably call them up, see if there's any uh, easier ways to get around it. Um, but I'm telling y'all, if you need to manufacture parts like I manufacture parts, um, this is a great machine. I know a lot of people and myself uh, was looking at the Ultimaker, uh, the new S5, but I just couldn't see spending an, uh, an extra $2,000. I couldn't spe see spending $6,000 on it. So I got this and um, uh, I'm super happy. Um, still about a year plus, just barely a year plus into 3D printing. I did not get into this just for, oh, let me print silly this and silly that. and and i got into it as a as a business um yeah there's some filament i need to reorder i'm getting low i got into this as a business aspect and and um this is a great commercial printer uh if you have any questions if you have any comments um if you have anything that you want me to print with it shoot me an email and shoot me a link uh to it you know if it's on thingiverse or whatever and I, if i can get around to it i'll print it and uh, let you guys see how it's printed itself out. Uh, raised 3D, please find another camera that can go inside here and let's get with me on this beta program so I can control and watch my prints online if I'm out and about, which I am often. So great talking to y'all. Let me know if you have any questions. Shoot me some emails.